cancer patients who are at high risk of thrombosis can be given primary preventive treatment. But you've been looking into this experimentally. What did you find? What did you do indeed? Yeah, so today at ASH we reported results of a randomized clinical trial uh, taking high-risk patients and patients being high risk for getting blood clots. We know they're high risk based on a risk score that my colleagues and I developed about uh, seven years ago. And if they have a score of three or higher, they're at really high risk for getting clots. We took the high risk patients and randomized them to receive deltaparin, which is a low molecular weight heparin, uh, given 5,000 units once a day for 12 weeks or to observation. We found two things. One, we were screening these patients before they even started on the, on the study drug and we found a very high rate of baseline blood clots. About 9% of patients already had a blood clot before they even started chemotherapy, and that's a really important finding. And it suggests that cancer patients with a score of three or higher should really be screened for blood clots even before they start on treatment. A second thing we found was that the rate of VTE was very high in the observation arm, it was 21%, and it came down to 12% in patients who received uh, deltaparin. What do you think this implies then for future therapy? Uh, I think it uh, strongly suggests that cancer patients at high risk can have that risk reduced by using a blood thinner. Uh, our, our, this study that we reported today is using an, a self-injection of low molecular weight heparin. Uh, an ongoing study of risk cutoff of two or higher is using rivaroxaban versus placebo in, in a global study, about 700 patients, and hopefully we'll be able to report on that uh, next time we meet. So what should clinicians take home from your research findings? Um, there is a validated risk assessment tool. It can be used to find patients at high risk for blood clots. They can be at high risk or maybe even have a clot before they start on chemotherapy, so consider screening for those patients, and consider using prophylaxis in the high-risk patients to prevent blood clots.